Hold on, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. What's a pop in everyone? Today we're talking about basics. Basics are such an important part to your wardrobe because they act as the foundation to your outfits. Because of their basic design and style, they never go out of fashion, so it's a good idea to invest in good quality basics. If you choose really good quality basics, then you don't really need anything else in your wardrobe. And I often wear outfits made up of basics alone. Of course, it's nice to wear louder and standout pieces too, but it's good to know that you've got a wardrobe full of good quality basics that are gonna complement that item rather than let it down. I'm not gonna be talking about brands who just offer a few basic items here and there. I'm gonna be talking about brands who specialize in basics. For each brand I talk about, I'm gonna talk about what I feel they specialize in as well. And at the end of all this, I'm gonna be crowning one of these brands as the number one for basics. Now that's all out of the way, let's get into the first shop, and that is Uniqlo. Uniqlo has been an absolute gem for me and my wardrobe because a lot of my wardrobe is made up of Uniqlo pieces. And for those of you who keep asking where my socks are from, most of them are from Uniqlo. Uniqlo have a really solid basics range and they also offer more fashion forward clothing with their U range. Items in their U range normally have a more relaxed and boxy fit. So if that's your kind of style, then the U range is probably for you. On top of their basics range, they often do collaborations with different designers and different artists as well. So it keeps things really interesting. I feel that Uniqlo don't really specialize in one area. I feel all their items are really solid. So if you're not shopping here already, then you really should be. The only negative thing that I will say about Uniqlo is I wish they did have some more variety. Their colors are all the same. Their fits and cuts of clothing is pretty similar as well. So yeah, it does get a little bit boring from time to time. But for the price, you can't really complain. Next up, we're gonna talk about a Swedish brand called Weekday. Weekday offer more street-inspired basics, and I feel their target audience are people in their teens or early 20s. But to be honest with you, they've got such a wide range of products that I normally find quite a lot of stuff that I like from them. Their clothing plays around with different styles and different designs, and they do tend to follow trends a lot more closely than other brands on this list which does keep things exciting, but it's not always the best when it comes to basics. Their prices are really decent and sometimes their sale prices seem too good to be true. The downsides of weekday for me is their target audience are a bit younger, so some of the clothing is a bit younger, I feel. And the other thing is sometimes their clothing can be a bit hit and miss in terms of quality. The third brand I'm gonna talk about today is Cos. Cos is another Swedish brand that offers very minimal and basic clothing, but they do experiment with their cuts. Sometimes it's a bit out there for me, but I really like the way that they do experiment a lot. The thing I love about Cos and the area which I feel they specialize in is in their trousers. I've never come across another brand that offers such amazing fitting trousers straight off the rack for that price. Cos does come in at a higher price than Uniqlo on weekday, but for the tailored cuts of their clothing, I'm happy to pay the extra price. They offer styles to suit anyone at any age, so if you're into more slim fitting clothing or if you're into really oversized clothing, they've got you covered. Most of their clothing focuses on more neutral tones and when they do do color, it's often quite muted. They also do dabble in designs and prints from time to time, but I don't really opt for these items when I shop here. The main downside for me with Cos is their sweatshirts and their t-shirts. I've had some t-shirts and sweatshirts that have held up great, but I've also had a few that have just lost their shape completely after the first wash, which is not good, especially for the price you're paying. Outerwear and knitwear, I've had absolutely no issues with, so it is just their tees and sweatshirts from time to time. But their trousers, delicious, I absolutely love them. If you like the look of Cos, but you don't really care about the more experimental stuff, then you're probably gonna like the next brand a lot more, and that is Arquette. Arquette and Cos are both owned by the same company, so there are similarities in both of them, However, I feel that the quality on Arquette is a lot better than Cos. They're a brand that I feel don't really specialize in one area. All their items are really solid. The downside of Arquette for me though, is that their fits are a little bit basic and a bit standard. And if I'm paying a bit more, then I want a bit more going on with the fit. So out of Arquette and Cos, I normally shop more at Cos because I like the way that they experiment a bit more with their clothing but it's up to you which one you choose. Yeah, they're both really good. Next on the list, we have another brand from Sweden. The Swedes know how to do their basics, but this brand is called Arsket. Arsket's strengths lie in the fit of their clothing and the materials that they use in their clothing. Their sizing system is absolutely crazy as well. It's got sizes to cover everyone of all shapes and all sizes. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go and have a look for yourself. But for example, if you're a medium in width, but a large in length, then you can order exactly that. They don't believe in following trends and they set out to create timeless essentials that are gonna last. And that's exactly what they've done. 
So if you're into pieces that aren't loud and fit well, then Arsket is definitely one to check out. The downside to Arsket though, again, is that their fits are too basic for my liking. They don't really experiment much with styles and they don't experiment much with color and everything fits just really basic and just really well. Too well in my opinion. But this is no fault of theirs, that is exactly what they're going for with their clothing. But now we do need to crown a winner. The winner of the best store for basics. The award for the store with the best basics goes to... Hold on, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. When I made this video, I gave the crown to Uniqlo because I believe that you can't get a better option for the price. But I've had a bit of a rethink and because of the styles and the cuts of clothing you get from cars, I absolutely love them. And I just don't think it's fair to award just Uniqlo the crown. So I'm splitting that crown in half. I'm giving half to Uniqlo and half to cars. So if I could only shop at any of these stores, those two would be the two that I would choose. But anyway, let's get back into the video. Check him out as well. Let's go, let's go and see him a bit closer quickly. There he is. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? There are so many more brands that I wanted to talk about, but I had to end the list somewhere. Maybe I'll do a part two to this. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and leave a comment letting me know that you want to see a part two. But anyway, that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've got some new stores to look at. I'll see you in the next video next week. See ya.